Hello, what is going on guys? How you doing? What's up? We are back in the Minecraft and uh, I have some different plans. I've been playing a little bit every once in a while. I've, I've been working for a couple days so uh, that's why I haven't been able to get a video out but like I said that's gonna be the uh, schedule now. Um, well it's not really gonna be a schedule it's just gonna be when I have time and I've been doing some stuff off camera uh, some things you you'll probably notice right away is the color of the sandstone and sand um, and I'll explain first that I I changed the texture pack because I know last time I said I uh, I wasn't really going to do a western theme because I, I felt that I was kind of late on the whole thing but when I thought about it I thought I I really realized yeah, I really wasn't uh, technically, this version of Minecraft, Minecraft isn't even released yet. It's still just a snapshot. So technically, I'm not that late on it. And it's really one of the only things you can do. Uh, one of the only new things you can do with the horses being added is having it kind of a western feel. Because if it's um, if you put the armor on, which you saw I have some. I uh, found an abandoned mine shaft. Um, I have my horse up here for safekeeping as of right now um but yeah the only other thing you can do is some like roman knight thing and it seems like old timey and like roman kind of stuff is uh kind of what minecraft is based on it's kind of like that's mainly the style of build um so i figured uh let's do a western town but i i, <laughs> I started watching this movie called the last man St or just i think it's just called last man standing has a Bruce Willis in it. It was made in '96 or '99. It was made in the late '90s, um, and that really that really kind of got me over the border of whether I should do Western or not to actually do it. So what I figured was instead of doing it in that prairie biome, I'm gonna do it in a desert biome. Uh, this way, I can show more of a Western kind of feel. Um, so that's the reason I changed the uh, the texture because I I've always felt like this uh, the default sand texture it's just it's too light um, yeah it's good for uh, like a beach but for like a western uh, I think this is a little bit better and it's very nice the new way the texture pack works uh, the redoing it so uh, maybe maybe I'll do a quick little tutorial on how I did that um, I'm thinking about making a texture pack of my own. Uh, in my spare time, I started by... Oh! 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 Yeah, thanks for not showing up, ass. Damn, game sucks. Okay. Um, is that... That's dirt. I started with the sand. Uh, all I did was I just changed the color. But I'm thinking I might do a 64-bit texture pack. Um, that's, that's usually what my computer can handle. Uh, it can handle 128 pretty well. Uh, but yeah, I'll be working on that. I'll see how it goes, and I'll just be testing it out in these videos. Uh, so eventually I'll update, uh, the sand and the sandstone to have a 64-bit texture, but right now, just using, I just, uh, used the, uh, default sand, and I, uh, just made it darker. So, yeah, that's basically it. Now, we're going to use the horse to, uh, to find a spot where to start the village, because I don't want it to be near the snow biome. It's, uh kind of ruins the whole feel of things because when you're in a desert kind of environment and I realize um, like in Western movies and stuff it's not really sand it's dirt which I mean it in true in all honesty it is dirt um, in real life but uh, using dirt would mean I'd have to get rid of all the grass and sand just makes more sense in my mind so anyway, um, I'm probably going to choose this area. It's nice and flat, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It has a little river running through, which we will use. Um, oh, and also, in the uh, time I was doing work off camera, I was able to find a swamp biome just right over there. Got plenty of, uh, pr plenty of slime balls, which actually I think I'll... I'm able to make leads because uh, in the abandoned mine shaft cave thing, I found a uh, spider spawner. So I destroyed most of the cobwebs, and uh, I have plenty of slime balls now. 
Uh, I also found a couple of dungeons. I think I found two zombie spawners, I think. So, uh, yeah, so I got some loot from that. I got a name tag. I got a nice little name tag so I can name Clyde over here. Um, it's kind of, um, it doesn't really make sense because I was, uh, when I was, I was originally, oh, god damn it. I was originally thinking that I was going to do some, like, which way? I'm going this way? Correct? Shit, I got all turned around now. I don't know, I have to go this way. Um, I was originally thinking, well, instead of doing a little western thing, I'll do kind of like a, uh, moonshiner, kind of like, uh, kind of thing, like a southern, not really western, but a southern kind of feel. Because, I mean, they, they kind of use horses. So, thinking about doing that, but, uh, the west, that movie, Last Man Standing, really put me over the top. So, let's start it off by getting the name, oh, I also got some saddles and this iron horse armor. But like I said, I'm really, I'm not going to use that. Uh, I got some slime balls, so I might as well make some leads. But, right after I make the leads, we're going to name the guy. Um, name him nice and Clyde, you know? So we'll just make two for right now. Uh, how do we... Oh! Oh, 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 I know. We have to, uh... We have to use an anvil. Oh, and, um, I really wanted to implement the new clay blocks, because... That this will be perfect. I uh, I got some clay in the swamp item also. I smelted it off camera. Right now I'm smelting uh, I'm smelting iron. Perfect. I needed that. And I have some gold. Yep. And then this is a uh, building material. And oh, I got plenty of rail for a nice little railroad. So we have to craft an anvil, which I'm pretty sure is it like three of these. I want to say, oh man, I don't know, is it like this, who's next to me, damn it, is it like this, maybe, no, is it this on top, there we go, I did it, <laughs> I haven't really made an anvil, so, uh, well, we can always move it, so I'll just plop it down, we, uh, we gotta put this in here, we gotta, we gotta name it. So we'll name him Clyde. Yep, Clyde. There we go. Boom. And then I'm pretty sure we do we just. Oh shoot. Oh, there he is. Okay. We just what? Right click. Right click. There we go. Clyde. Clyde. Look at it, Clyde. You can. What? Is it? What? Oh, it disappears after like five, three blocks. Can you change that? We will be able to change that. The video settings? Possibly. That's on far. Um, so I guess that doesn't have anything to do with it. Damn it. I wanted... I want to be able to see this from longer. With? What is this with? Oh, for the chat, I guess? Maybe. Scale. Oh, you can change the scale. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, jeez. I have not played this in a while. Oh yeah, so here's the texture pack. Uh, slight changes to vanilla. That is what I'm using right now. Uh, the default, like I said, I just think the sand is too it's too bright. You know, I need a little bit darker. It's, it's not really dirty sand. It's just like it's nice. It's the kind of sand you want to uh, you want to have in like Florida, like the Bahamas and stuff. It has to be nice sand. This is the kind of sand that you want in the desert. Anyway, let's, uh, I got a lead. I guess I can, uh, I don't have a fence. I can attach him to, <laughs> can I attach him to this fence up here? Get over here. Okay, ready? Uh, uh, yeah! <laughs> now he's stuck right upside, and he can't really move that much. Can't move that far. Perfect. So, uh, that's kind of pointless, because, uh, man, give me that. Excuse me. Need to uh, need to break something. Thank you. There you go. Climb back down. So we're gonna go and we're gonna let's see. We're gonna get some materials first, like the clay and dyes. I'm not sure which dyes I'm going to use, but uh, I'm gonna use some. Mainly these because they're earth tone, kind of neutral-ish, kind of khaki. You know, kind kind of like this color uh the base color right now is pretty nice uh it's not that bad 
And then we're also going to use some uh, spruce wood. Spruce wood. So, let's, uh... Yeah, let's go to bed, actually. Let's go to bed. And then, <laughs> then we will go venture out. Uh, right now, this will just be, like, my staging area for right now, where I keep all my materials and such. Uh, that way I don't have to tra- Ay! Ow! I don't have to transport everything back over to, um, the future village. Or, the future town. You know, it's not really a village. It's a town. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, uh... How big I'm gonna make it? I'm definitely gonna be transporting the villagers on over to it. Uh, I really this episode, I just want to get like a main, uh, just like my my own main little house set up, and eventually I'm gonna want. Oh, I should make some fence. Get off. Um, I want to make at least a like a pub kind of thing, pub kind of deal, and uh, put that there. Thank you pub, a little jailhouse and such, uh, I just use both, and uh, there we go, don't need that no more, um, so pub, jailhouse, my house, I'm making this episode, um, what else, what else do, I think I'm gonna make a, uh, kind of like a, a little inn, it's not gonna be a hotel, it's gonna be a nice little, like, family owned inn, um, oh, oh, you can see the swamp rendering in over there. I'm going to have to cut down those trees because I don't want it to be... Or just move that. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably cut down those trees later on. Um, but, yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's get the building going. So, we're going to need a bunch of spruce wood. We're going to take about half, turn them into slabs. And then the others, we can just keep like this for now. So I think I don't I don't really want to use the uh oh do I have sand? I don't have sand. Oh well. I'll fill in the holes later. So we're gonna have one main strip for the uh main kind of road and I think we're gonna veer off that away. Veer off to the right and uh kinda like have an L shaped kind of town, you know. And we'll have a railroad running uh in the background, I think on that side we'll have a nice little railroad, and I'll be going to that village over or town over there. Uh, I think that would be uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's see, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think eleven. Eleven should. Eh, we'll do nine. Shit, I don't have an axe. I I don't have any. Okay, that was a bad idea. Working with wood, but I don't have an axe. That's fine. So, we're going to make this a nice little kind of a generic kind of western house. A little house on prairie, you know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no. Here, let me, let me go get an axe and uh, I'll be right back because this is going to get very annoying. Alright, got the axe and uh... Let's continue the build. So uh, I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of base the first house, my first house, off um, one of the buildings, one of the main buildings uh, in Last Man Standing. Let's just move this over here so we don't have to keep on running over when we want to build stuff. Um, so I need to make some fence. Let's get, uh, yeah, that's good enough make some fence and probably a little bit more and we'll try that on for size yeah okay so basically it's just a nice little fence you got going like this they weren't really connected it wasn't really a fence like it wasn't a fence here or anything it's kind of just a post holding the the balcony kind of thing up above so add this and then this was the building so we'll start building with uh hmm we'll just do some planks for right now uh, so this will be the start of the inside so we'll have the door right in the center 
I don't know. We want to make this shit. We want to make this even because saloons always have like those double like paddle doors. I don't know what I call them. Um, but yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Those two little floppy things. They're kind of like fence gates. Um, so let's just move this over one. Put that up. Put that up. Put that up. And down. Okay. So then we will get this out of the way. We'll get post right there and right there. Or do we want it? I think I think it'll look better spread out a little bit more. Yeah, put them right over here, right next to the stairs. So uh, if you if you oh God, if you've never seen the movie Last Man Standing, I suggest you watch it somehow. Um, you can just literally go to Google, type in Last Man Standing, um, like full movie or whatever, and you don't even have to download it. It's basically, uh, this website, like Movies 2K or whatever, and you basically just watch it online. Um, not sure if it's completely legal, because most likely they don't have the full rights to it, but... There's nothing wrong with it, um, because uh, Netflix used to have it for their streaming, and I really wanted to watch it, and they didn't, so I had to do this thing with Google. Um, oh, I also remember, I, I think, for my house especially, I'm going to try to implement the uh, new carpets, because I haven't really tried those out at all. But anyway, uh, going off on tangents now, um, so yeah. It's kind of annoying. Uh, Netflix seems to just get rid of movies from uh, streaming every once in a while. They're just like, eh, yeah, we're not, we're not gonna offer this for streaming anymore. So if you want to watch it, eh, you're fucked. Um, so yeah, it kind of sucks that they. Ooh, where's the wall? Wall is gonna be right here. If you just mark this, that's the wall. And uh, I probably should have brought my bed out here. But, you know, we can work through the night. Alright, so the other thing, before we start going on the inside, I want to make a little kind of thing to, uh, a little thing to, uh, one, two, three, little, like, uh, I don't know, like, oh, a, uh, a hitching post, you know? Uh, is that, yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Hitching post, oh, damn it. Hitching post for like the horse. I am screwing everything up. Okay. Go like that. It's beautiful. I think if only fence could go like sideways, that would be awesome. Like if it was suspended in the air, I think it should go sideways. But oh well. Oh, unless, um, here, I'll try making some fence gates. Two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just, I'll do this for now. Um, that, oh, that was too many. What am I thinking? Well, now we have four. Alright, so, I wonder if we will be able, oh, I forgot. Okay, so we'll go like this, this, and right, oh, do you have to place it on the block? There we go, <laughs> I think this, uh, this looks a little bit better. It's more, uh, cross-like, kind of goes across better. Uh, the only thing is, I don't think you can attach a lead. Okay, so I can attach... Oh, I can't attach it either way. Alright, let's see. Get over here, Clyde! Get away from the skeletons. Get the hell away from those dicks. Right. No, just let me on. Let me on, run. No, oh god, R wrong button. <laughs> I'm used to having, like, other video games, shift is like the run, so can we... We can go like that. That's not bad. Because I think it looks better this way. You know? Um, so yeah, that's fine. And uh, it always seems like there are chairs on these porches. Like rocking chairs. Like a couple. Like one over here, one over there. Um, I, yeah, that's not going to be possible. There's no, there's no way we can fit a chair. And then we have the little paddle doors. Cause I, I still don't know what to call them. I don't know. There's something. Um, and I think, well, let's see, we're gonna 
try out this clay. I haven't really looked at anything yet. We're going to take a couple stacks of brown, a couple stacks of red. Uh, red doesn't look too great. I'll take it. Uh, we'll put some orange in here. Orange wouldn't be that bad. Um, do some yellow. Get over there. Thank you very much. Yellow, and then I want to just try pink. Cause pink sounds stupid, but I think it might work. Um, so let's just try out brown. Brown, I think it's gonna, yeah. I think brown would work better if it was regular oak wood. I think it would be a little bit better that way. Um, but hell, we can we can put it right here. Um, the other thing I noticed about my western old kind of Tommy like western houses they always have tall skinny windows you know uh, so I'm gonna try to mimic that a little, a little bit uh, actually here I'll put that side in brown this side another color see what color I want to use um, I think orange I don't know orange does it it's kind of, it's kind of like a rust like a rusty orange so it's not too pleasant of a color, but I don't know. I really don't know. We could try just for the hell of it. Um, we could try some red. Oh no! I heard you. You're an asshole, buddy. At least clad's okay. You want some bread? Want some bread? He wanted some bread. I gave him some bread. Anything else? Wanna wanna mess? Damn it. That sucks. Okay. Go like that. Yeah, it's, it wasn't that much damage. Fix that up in a jiffy. Nah. Now I'm gonna continuously look behind me to make sure no one's gonna blow me to smithereens. Damn it, the fence gates are gone too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> One of the only things I really wanted back. I didn't care about the wood. It just, it requires more effort to make these fence gates. I don't fence. Oh, no, I have some. Okay. Okay. Did I not put you there? Thank you. Go like that. Is that? Oh. Well, that whole thing's gone. Oh, God. Okay, so we'll make... Do I have... I don't have any... I think I left my torch. I left everything in the uh my little staging village area what do i what am i trying to do these sticks that's enough make some fence out of that thank you very much make some like that and like that and then like this two fence gates we're back in business put that there put that there beautiful all right so what i was gonna say is rudely interrupted by some ass. Um, we're gonna try let's see pink and yellow. Oop, yellow stained clay. We're just gonna see what that looks like with the uh, good old. Yeah, that's fine. The good old kind of thing. Yeah, pink. That was a bad idea. Red. Red's not that bad. But yeah, pink and yellow, yeah, that was a mistake. Wish you could undie. Oh, I wonder, can you like mix these together after they're, no, okay. So get that out of my life. I need an orange or brown. Let's see, orange or brown is my decision. For this, for my house at least. Pink, probably won't use it all. Yellow is a possibility, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like yellow. Okay, so let's look at it from the front. Look at him. Um, I th Oh, I think what we're going to do, maybe I'll do this in my texture pack. Um, we're going to put like a cauldron down, like right there for the horse. I wonder if they, uh, no, stop it. How do, is it, is this a cauldron? Is that a cauldron? How do you make a cauldron? Is it, uh, is it out of iron? I thought it was out of Oh, it is, okay. We'll make a little cauldron. We will put it, does this attach? 
Oh, beautiful. So this can be kind of like the horses drink out of here. We'll put water. Yeah, I'll make a... Hey! Stop! Get out of that cactus. Anyone else want mess? Anyone else have a death wish? Huh? No one. No one. I see. Okay. So, maybe what we can do, we have brown on the bottom, orange on the second level. I think that's what we're going to do. We'll try that on for size. Uh, just pick this up. Hopefully not die from anything surrounding me. Eat some bread. Give me that. Um, oh, and I I think some other things. Let's just talk about what I'm going to build while I'm building. Uh, anything going to hurt me? No, okay. So I think I also want to make a... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. A uh, Kind of like an animal pen, you know? Like, if you've ever played Red Dead Redemption, um, basically one of those, like, things, animal pens. I don't know what else to call it. I mean, animal pens, where they, uh, hi, where they, they have all those cows and they hold the horses. I want to make some of those, and I want to fill them with cows, one with cows, one with horses. Um, uh, I'm talking about the... The one on, like, the, what is it, McFarland Ranch or whatever? I'm talking about that. Um, I think that would be really cool. That's very Western kind of game. Um, that's what it's built around. Thanks for the string. You, I just hate... I hate you. Nah! Oh! God, I thought it was just, like, one more hit. Apparently not. At least it's day. We can build without getting blown smithereen. Okay, give me this. We can start building now. Um, I just realized one thing I do not have is glass, which I'll have to get. Um, I'm going to leave the doorway nice. Okay. I'm going to leave the doorway nice and uh, three three high. Kind of get it that more open kind of feeling, you know. Um, and yeah, I think this will basically just be all the walls for the first floor. Um, so I'm going to need to get a lot more clay. I think I saw some clay in that river that we have to cross to get to the, uh, the village, the current village, my staging area, as I called it. I think I saw some clay there. And I mean, the swamp is right there. I can always just scavenge some clay, uh, up in there. So, um, when I was, when I was making some of the textures, I tried changing the uh, door texture to be like these um, like the saloon doors I, forget what it, I know there's a name for them but I can't think of it um, but I was trying to make it look like that and I th personally I think I did a good job of making it look like them but the way uh, it's coated in it kind of messes things up. It doesn't really... That's not going to work. It doesn't really work because the way they have it is, like, the one edge of the door is the texture that is used for literally the side of the door. Uh, so it doesn't really work out that well. Um, here, let me, let me just quickly add it, and I will show you what I mean. Alright, so I quickly added it, and I'm just going to show you real quick. No! It didn't work! Oh well. Maybe I'll just show you next video. But anyway, um, it doesn't look so hot. I'll tell you the truth. But, um, yeah. Let's just quickly continue building this house. I think I... Maybe I'll just pause it. I'll finish up the house, and I'll come back when I have it all finished. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a couple seconds. Alright, so I wasn't completely smart. I have a couple more things to show you. First, uh, well, I slept so I could uh, make a day. This is what I mean by the doors. I think they look, they look decent. Uh, this is, uh, 32 by 32. But when you come on the side, uh, it's messed up. Like, in the middle, it's kind of messed up because this part isn't filled with anything. Uh, you can't make it so pixels are, like, on that. 
So it doesn't really work out that well. Um, other than that, I think, I don't know, I think I did a decent job with designing this. I mean, uh, what is it, F1? Yeah, F1. I don't think it's terrible. I think it was a good, this was like my first try. I never tried anything else. Um, never tried like a different design, but that's what they look like. Um, and now I guess we will hop on Clyde. I will show you the, uh, the house. It's not fully completed, but, um, you'll at least see, uh, what it's going to look like. I just, I completed the front and everything. I just haven't put on any of the walls. Um, and I realized the next thing I'm going to texture, I have to do it, is, um, what's it called? Glass. Glass panes and uh, uh, glass blocks. Pretty sure they just use the same texture, though. But anyway, there it is. Uh, I'm hoping with the glass, I'll make it kind of like dirty kind of looking. And uh, I want to try to get it so uh, it's connected textures. I'm not sure exactly how I have to do that, uh, how that works. Because I've never really designed a texture pack before. But I will quickly slap on these doors, even if they look kind of dumb. But... Um, Slap those on, take a look, and then there's one last thing I have to show you guys. Um, so yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I was, I was trying to, like, that's what the fence gates are imitating. They're Im imitating that kind of. But, anyway, I was uh, going over here, and uh, I saw this square-shaped hole in the ground. And I saw this, and I realized, hey, <laughs> it's a spawner. So I figured we can end the episode with uh, a nice little... I guess we can dig that. Nice little uh, killing of the zombies. I'm thinking it's a zombie spawner. Let's see. It's right here. Yep, zombie spawner. There's a chest right over here. Let's see what we got. Got some saddles. Wheat. A bucket. And we got another music disc. I think I have that music disc already. More horse armor. Gunpowder. Redstone. Gunpowder. Here there. And some bread. We need bread. We always need bread. Uh, we'll just... Uncover this. I guess this can be the nice little uh, screenshot I have. My uh, thumbnail for the video. So I'll quickly clear this out while I end the video. So next time, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on the uh, the uh, oh, the corral. I think it's called a corral, actually, not the animal fence. That's what I was trying to think of, the corral, where you, you can, like, lasso stuff. Oh, you know, Generic B, I was watching one of his videos. It's called a lead, and he said it exactly the way I think it should be. It should be, uh, spider, I don't need you. It should be called a lasso, because that's basically what it is. And I totally agree with him. Couldn't agree more. Um, wrong button. Hit that, and we'll, we'll do a nice little screenshot. All right. There. There we go. Or, oh, I don't know. Should we... Should I have a screenshot of that? Because that's not really the main point of the episode. The main point is kind of kind of this part. I'll, I'll do a nice little screenshot of that. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I missed him. He was smiling. That would have been perfect if he was smiling. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to sit here. Once he eats the grass again, I'm going to take a picture. But that is going to end the episode for today, guys. I'll finish up the house. And next episode... Uh... We'll start on the corrals, and I will also do some updating of my texture pack ideas. So, the glass, the cauldron, and, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video, and, uh, yeah. See you next time. Have a nice day.